Welcome to A Slice of Love. I'm Glenis Enriquez and you are enjoying a piece of my life story of my love for Julio Enriquez, the man of my life. My husband, 30 years, passed away August 25th and we're just taking all of these um, little snippets, little slices of everything that happened in 30 years because I've kept a book, a journal. It's already three, three of these big journals for 30 years. Anyway, so I hope you don't mind that I am so um, cheesy, the truth, cheesy, um, but, but honest, you know, about um, how I felt. And I hope that this particular slice brings you joy as it does to me, okay? So now we're June 20, okay? June 20, 2010, and I write, we arrived, we are home again. I love our home. Here is what I promised to do last night. Here is what I promised to do last night. Let's see. Remember, I don't pre-read these, so God knows what I'm going to have to say here. Okay, highlights of the last 18 years. On Princess Cruise, Crown Grill, Glennis ate. <laughs> oh, I, here it is. Here is what I promised to do last night. I promised to write all the highlights of the cruise. So on June 18, on Princess Cruise, the Crown Grill, Glennis ate, Glennis would be me, Glennis ate a 22-ounce porterhouse steak and almost exploded. Julio is very funny when he makes the facial expression that, you know, that I ate it. Wedding, honeymoon, chasing after thieves on the train. Oh my God, highlights of the last 18 years. These are my highlights. They ran off with our luggage when we got married. This is funny, this is so damn funny. These are the highlights of the last 18 years, not just the cruise, the 18 years. When we got married and we went to Paris, there was a train, uh, no, there was a, a trucker strike in Paris. And what they do in France is, when they have trucker strikes, all the trucks, this, all the truckers decide to coordinate and park their rigs one behind the other. It's a tremendous organization of doing this, but they basically block the entire highways and they walk away. The key is in their pocket and they leave. They close the door and they have all of these long, 18 wheelers back to back to back to back. So when we went to Paris and we thought we were gonna be driving to the south of France, we couldn't. So we had to take the train. And, and one of the highlights is that in the train, because while we were on the train uh, and the train was moving, we had to go single file because the hallway, the little hallway that divides the cabins where you sleep was so little, so narrow that only we would fit literally with one luggage in front of us, one behind us and kind of like that. And a, and a, and a happy person, a, a good Samaritan man asked if he can help me. Of course I said, yes, I had a lot of bags. Well, little by little, he kept moving faster and faster and faster on the train until he was running with my bag. And Julio was behind me. So I, I just yelled, you know, Papa, he's stealing our bags. And Julio was able in French to summon police as we were all running uh, for this guy. So yeah, that's a highlight. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, another highlight was at Turks and Caicos on the beach when Julio was, um, you know, walking the beach and, and, and uh, one big wave came and knocked us over. And some, some people there, ladies, came to help Julio, of course, and the lady says, hey, you lost your soul. You know, we had those walking shoes, the ones that you take in the water. He looks back and says, is that your soul? And he looks and says, no, that's not my soul. And he goes and sits in the chaise lounge chairs, only to find out, as I get up from the chaise lounge chairs, that the bottom of the shoe 
uh, I could see his feet. So that meant that the lady was right. The sole had detached from the bottom of the seat of the of the shoe. But cool Julio would not tell that lady that was his because he's just too damn cool. So he did not want to be embarrassed. But that is a highlight because he walked to the boat. All right. And oh. Yeah, so those are those are pretty much the the the, the giant highlights. You know, has it, you know, funny, funny, daddy highlights. But I got to tell you, the next slice of, of love, you're going to love because it's, uh, it has to do with my friends, Nancy and Karen. So got to wait, got to wait. Next week, I'll share that with you. Okay, till then.